guys and welcome back to our channel it is not to say saturday it is a monday morning uh it is june 28th our first official full week of summer vacation summer break i'll say summer break um next week they're at summer camp so it starts off with a week of vacation but then they go to camp. So I'm glad it'll kind of like, even if they're, cause they've been like kind of bored, but I made a board jar, um, on board jar for Emma. <coughs> it could work for Ben too, except for a couple of them. Like if it said paint mommy's toenails, he wouldn't want to do that one. But um, there's a lot of other ones that <coughs> could totally be for Ben. So if he's bored, I'll have him pull one if he wants. If it's that one, he can just put it back. Um, but, um, I don't think they're going to need it too much. I have good scheduling, um, to where, you know, and it's the beginning. They know they got, like, he hasn't done monster trucks downstairs a lot. She has some stuff maybe downstairs that she could do, but if she doesn't, then what she'll have to do is after camp week, start to figure out how we're going to sell it and, and get rid of that toy stuff that she doesn't want um because it's worth good money um but my other thing is when we go once a week to my mother and father's they have stuff tons of stuff from like being even eight and nine years old toys that they're not going to want so we're going to gather that up and then have a yard sale maybe in august or september preferably august the end of august so that way we'll have september to get really busy on um, getting ready for Disney, um, cause we're leaving on the end of August, September. So, so we're gonna now go and wake us up a little bit more. We're gonna have breakfast, morning routine, do our chore, and then by hopefully 10, so we got like just under an hour. So even if it's a little after 10 and we push it back, um, today I slept in a little bit for everybody. Because I knew next week they're going to be up very early. Um, for Emma, even earlier than school days that she's had in the past. Even though in the fall, she's up that early for school now at middle school. So it'll be a good week to prep. But um, it's just going to be quick. It'll be pick out your outfit the night before for Emma. Put it on in the morning. Probably splash some water on her face. Hand her the breakfast and say let's go because we have to drive a good distance to get into the bus stop for camp because camp is 45 minutes away and at least 45 minutes away depending on your traffic i'm not driving that so um but she's doing day camp and then thursday night she sleeps over and i'm pretty sure they're doing the the next day, which is the July 5th, they're using that as like, it's the 4th of July celebration day. And they're not expecting them to be at camp. They're not having camp. So she's only Tuesday, Wednesday. I get her up Thursday and then Friday I don't have to. And then I pick her up Friday afternoon. Benjamin's leaving either Sunday with Papa or my husband will take him on Monday, July 5th. Um, so he can have camp all week, Monday or even Sunday till Saturday. Um, and then my father's staying and we'll bring him back Saturday. They're not having any family get together on the last day like they normally would because of COVID. Mm. But, um, so plus this week we will be packing up, getting Ben ready, finishing up Emma's bag, uh, like Thursday, Friday to get ready for camp. Um, being... Sunday's 4th of July, we'll be busy. And then, you know, Saturday I gotta go to the market for 4th of July. And uh, yeah, so let's get going. All right, so it is just about 11. Ben was just down here making a friendship bracelet with Emma. Show me your bracelet. Right there, and Ben's got one. What color is his, red? Red. 
So now she's doing a beaded one. And then they're going to clean up. He just went to get a drink. I hope he's coming down. And then we're going to go swim in the pool. Then we'll get out and make lunch. Swim in the pool a little bit more maybe. <laughs> and then we're going to come in and do our summer homework. Okay. Then they'll have free time. And I'll be, after a little bit, then I'll be uh, making dinner. And then our nighttime routine of stuff. <clears throat> So unfortunately, <clears throat> because we've been in that process of eliminating Ben and Emma's wardrobe, they basically just outgrew all their winter clothes. And then we had like some of their summer stuff from last year in their closet. And for Emma definitely, and not a, not much of it fit because she's a growing. So we got stuff to take for donation. I got a pile here. Oh, Dad. Oh, and a pile in the other room. All right, we are out here. It's about 11.30. Emma, your pretty new purple bathing suit. Ben, gotta take his shirt off and do sunblock. Here's Teddy. <laughs> now I'm going in. I just did my sunblock, and then we'll uh, we'll have lunch out here at the table. I'll come out, make lunch, and then we can. Unless it's super hot, they say it is super hot. So we'll see how we feel with being cooled off from the pool, you know. But hopefully. I love these chairs we got from Job Lot. Was it last year or the year before? Yeah, it might have been the year before because with the pandemic. All right guys, so it's just about 12.30. I made some lunch. For the other Ben. They already had their sandwiches. I'm having my salad. And then we gotta go in at one and do some summer homework math and reading for an hour and then we get to do technology so nice how I left my bean suit on because later I might go back in we'll see <clears throat> alright guys so Ben wanted me to print his which makes sense <clears throat> this is his IXL's assignments. If he does all of them, I think he gets a better grade in math or... No, I guess that's for Emma. <laughs> it doesn't really say, just as I think he has to do all of them. Um, of a score of 80 chapters. or more. Huh? Only seven chapters. No, not. This is chapter seven. No, this is chapter one. Maybe that's a, a showing you from the next book. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, never mind. All right, so we're going to go. Ben's going to go do his IXL, just one, um, in his room. And I'm going to sit and read with Emma. And then hopefully that'll be, like, almost around the same time. And then I can sit with him and read with him. So that'll be good. I was thinking one a day and um, two weeks. This week and then the week after camp and you'll finish. And then you can start doing the report. Um, that's what we should look on is what you have to do for it. Good. In my fridge. Kids are playing video games, finishing up their last bit, doing Minecraft. They got my is open. seven minutes, I think. Seven so, minutes. Then they get free time. They got beads still out from this morning. Um, I should probably run to the store. We have no more lunch meat. Oh, and Daddy definitely needs to get lunch meat for the week. And we will need for the kids and stuff. Um, so I might go call Steven and then tell him I'm going to run and do that. How do you do but, that? Yeah, because we'll probably wait for him to come home and do chicken on the grill. Let me go see. Good morning, everyone. It's now 10 past 9 on Tuesday. I'm about to have my breakfast. And we're going out today with my mom. We slept in till 9. Um, I had my alarm set for 8, but we slept in till 9. Then I set it for a little after 8. I said, let's sleep in till 9. I was, didn't fall asleep well. So, kids are up over there. I can't see you too much. 
So, I'm gonna go and have breakfast. I gotta go shower and uh, leave by, I think, around 10.30 or so. I don't know if my mom's meeting me here. She might be. Um. All right, guys, I'm down here to do towels. Those are definitely gonna go. And then we gotta load up the car, too, for savers. I got this whole bunch over here. It's gonna look like a clean basement after this. You bang the fan? I would like that with my oh. fan. So we got back, we got all our Girl Scout stuff, material for Aunt Ben's costume. Um, we ended up buying brown shorts, but he ended up might wearing just his gray shorts that we already had. Um, I kind of thought gray because he wanted that. I knew he, which one he wanted, but that's okay. We got a bag doing? over there. Adding more. Just, I'm gonna have all right, let's go out and swim. I know, but I better get some cheese. Alright. Is sure this my cup here? Pick up anything. I don't want the dog to eat it. Don't eat it. Do you have those dot things that they have on paper that like sugary paste sugar? Like can their dots be like bit off the paper? Yeah, you saw the all the ones I had, but they're holiday ones. No, not those. Tonight's dinner. And then we're gonna have watermelon. Lean steak. Lean? Oh, this is lean steak? Well lean. How lean? Lean? The top one. Oh. Uh. Her name is uh, Zeta Rodea. Yeah, she came from the Disney Channel. Yep. No, not not Mickey Mouse. The Disney Channel. Sebastian knew of her. You know, so. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday morning. It is quarter to ten. We are all doing our morning chores. Um, our morning routine. I've brushed my teeth. They're going to brush theirs. They've done their chores. Ben is just finishing. I think he's done. Now he's just kind of rearranging some stuff. Emma's going to vacuum her room, so she needs to clean up their floor. The few things. Yep, you can bring that out here. Ow. Careful. Fix your purple rug. Yeah, Alright, just fix your purple rug. I'm wearing a new little summer dress I got yesterday at Savers. Which is this one? It's short length, just under, just under my knees, um, and it made me and my daughter realize we both need a strapless. You know what? So um, that will be on my list to get maybe this coming weekend. Um, if we have time Saturday, we could go shopping or order them online. Um, Wicked hot again today in the 90s. I can feel it already. I got the AC going in here. Um, I'm gonna leave the one in the bedroom off. I think during the day we can be fine with the one in here. Um, we turn that one off during the night and just do the bedroom one when it's like really hot. So next on the agenda is 10 o'clock is gonna be, um, it's supposed to be beach day, lake day which we haven't figured out yet. So the week after camp, we'll, by then I'll have figured out if we're gonna go to different ones. Um, there's one now that we've never been to, down a little further than our normal lake we could go to. Um, we could try that out that week after their camping. So what we're gonna do next is um, work on his pack for Boy Scout camp. We gotta do that next. So, this is it here. I just put a bunch of stuff on it from Girl Scouts. I gotta do that. So here's his big case. He just put the stickers on, I'll show you. And I grabbed some foam board, cause I knew that he would make a big mess and not know where things are, especially after a couple days, three days, and he's there from Sunday to Saturday. So, I need, knew he needed a division so like I just kind of sampled a pair of shorts are in here. So we'll pile up his outfits here. Um, his underwears and socks in this small cat area. And then we, he's going to need a mosquito net, which that'll sit on this section, but way up at the top. Because they're going to need that as soon as they get there and set that up. Um, a notebook, that'll probably be, it might be on this section. 
Um, but what this came with is this, which is nice. So that's going to sit there. So I'll know underneath I can't pile it too high. Um, so, like, I'm going to have his sunscreen here, his bug spray, um, which I might want to just go and get him his own. But I think Daddy said he has some downstairs, so I'll check that in a minute. We're going to go down and get his bathroom toiletry case that I got him. Um, and we're going to put all these things in there. So he's got a deodorant, a body wash. Oh, go get a face cloth. And then a new toothbrush because you can't take the electronic one that we use in the house. A little travel toothpaste. Two shampoos just in case because this one you open it, it like can just pour out easily. So he could waste it. But they're not going to shower I don't think every day. So whatever he comes home with is fine. And then in case he needs because he does have a little bit of dry skin with eczema like we all have here in the family. And then he's going to have a face cloth. So we gotta go downstairs, wait buddy, and find his toiletry bag, and then look for the bug spray um, for today. I kinda wanna get that going in here, and look at the list. He's gonna get his rain gear, and a few other things possibly. So here's his pack we bought at, was it Home Depot or Lowe's? I forget. It's like a big toolbox, and it's on wheels, and it pulls out like a big suitcase. So we bought him some camping stickers, and some Bruins ones that he got to put on. Go ahead, open it up. And he put some on the sides too. And so see, here's the division. I think it'll stay nice and neat for him. Hopefully his clothes will fit. And if I have to, I could put some more clothes here and then just put underwears and socks on the top. Or if we have to move the underwears here. So this is, came with it, like I showed you. So we've got like the sunblock, the bug spray, then pocket knife, binoculars, his lights his cards for free time and then you can lift it up and underneath we've got the extra sheet the towel and that's his toiletry bag and so when we put this in we're just going to make sure see how it needs to be down here it just needs to stay down there when you shut it and then you can lock it up so tomorrow my plan is to do laundry for him and then that way we can figure out like by Friday, we'll pack his clothes and then just keep out what he needs for Friday, Saturday, and then I think Sunday, either in the evening or Monday morning, he's going. We're not sure yet times. My dad's going Sunday, but if it's too early and he wants to be here for 4th of July, he'll go Monday and my husband will take him. So it's just 11.06. Let's go. Me and Ben change up for swimming. Let's go. It's now 1.35. We started around one, me and Emma read a chapter of her book. I sat with her, so that way, like, in case they need help. I thought maybe there's an assignment, but that's the other thing I gotta go do is email. I think I'm gonna email Ben's special ed teacher and then make sure about that. So Ben's, when we were reading, he's been in his room doing his math exercise. Three feet, Three feet is equivalent to one yard. They're equal. But what's nice is on Monday, oh sorry, Monday he did two of them. And you only have to get up to an 80 or better, so he did 85. And so now today he's doing another exercise. I'm doing DRM. Okay. Then we're going to go sit and read his book.